now start with our next sessions. So very quick brief before I call on the next honorable presenter on stage and he delivers the wonderful session. A quick brief on what is to be followed in the presentation. The next topic of the presentation is AI bots and malware. Protecting consumers, banks and fintech from online fraud and scam calls. Very, very important subject and topic. And now ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome with a big round of applause our honorable presenter for this particular topic, Mr. Nishant Ranjan, Regional Sales Director, ASEAN and India from Group IB. A big round of applause for Nishant. Nishant, welcome to the stage. Thank you. And Thank you. as important as your topic is, and we have a full house, yes. so looking forward to a great session from you. All over to you. Thank you. Can everyone hear me okay? Yes. Especially the people in the back. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your support. I am really excited to see more than full house. And uh, in the morning sessions, we all learn and hear about the digital frauds and how it is impacting everyone and a lot of best practices that you can inculcate as part of your day to day operations. But in my session, what I want to cover is very specific to the technology side and that also on the digital channels. First, how the enhancement of AI, the bot and the malware is impacting the uh, new age frauds. What are some of the examples that we are seeing and uh, what can you do about it? Before that, my name is Nishant Ranjan and as you saw, I am the regional director based in Singapore and I represent group IB. Who are we? So we are 20 years old organization predominantly focused on solving large scale cyber crimes. And today, fraud is one of the biggest cyber crimes every one of us is facing. I will not go through too much of details of what we do, but some of the things like we have saved more than billion dollars for various organizations like yourself by preventing at the early stage of various kind of cyber crimes and frauds. That's who we are. We have been awarded as one of the best tech companies for cyber crimes consistently and we have some of the very brightest mind where Women in Cybersecurity has been awarded consistently in 2022 and 2023 for our place for diversity. Other than that, in a very brief, this is what we do. I know this is a very busy, busy slide and I won't take uh, more than a few seconds. But today we have industry's first data lake for threat intelligence. This threat intelligence contains more than half a billion of stolen credentials and some of you could be here in the room as well. We have more than 300 million of stolen credit cards in our intelligence data lake. We monitor more than 1.6 billion of digital infrastructure like domains that are being used or abused by the fraudsters and threat actors as part of performing digital frauds. Why it is important? Because that data lake is leveraged by our various platforms and also our platform for fraud protection. And hopefully in the next few slides I will be able to share with you some of these use cases. Now, just reiterating some of the facts, how big is this problem? I am assuming some of you like me would have been receiving scam calls, would have been getting scam SMSs almost every alternate day, if not every day. Who has not yet received any scam calls or any scam phishing SMSs till today? Anyone in the room? Everyone in the room has received it, right? That's the extent of frauds that we are facing today. Forget about the numbers. Individually, we are all worried about that. And these are some of the top type of digital scams or frauds that is being, you know, uh, seen, faced by all of us. Whether we talk about the uh, dating scam, the uh, identity stealing, the friend request scams, or the fake job scams, or the recruitment scams, they all are real. Some of you might have heard about nowadays the um, scams, which the scammers use the fake identity of law enforcement agencies like CBI, the ED and then put you in the room and then uh, 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 
take the money from you, right? So this is, this is the reality that's happening. This is one of the examples of a phishing email received by one of my friends. Look at the effort gone into creating this type of email, spear phishing email. To really trick the user to go click a link and then actually share the data. Another SMS with the mobile banking app in the name of Canada Bank. Another one, ICIC Bank. I know we have a few people from ICIC Bank here, but they know about this. This is happening, okay, today. So what are some of the common frauds that, that on the technology side we should be aware of? You can see a list here. The mobile trojan is becoming one of the most popular type of method used by the fraudsters today. We saw this emerging in the CIS and in the Russian countries 5-6 years back, in the Latin American countries 5-6 years back, in European and APAC countries 3-4 years back. In the last 12 months, we are seeing a huge surge of use of mobile project as a fraudulent method used by fraudsters in India. And there are a few others, account takeover, card not present, you know, uh, automated scrapping of data, AML, web injection, they are the technical methods used by the fraudsters today. And if I have to highlight some of the emerging trends, now this is about all different type of high tech cyber crimes. If you are interested, you can come to Group IP website and download this very technical report. Very, very insightful. But from a digital fraud perspective, there are two things which is really creating you know, new wave of uh, technology enhancement. First, the increased use of AI by the threat actors. I'll share the example. And the increased use of uh, focus on the Apple devices. You know that Apple ecosystem so far has been very, very secure, especially the mobile side. But we have found the mobile banking trojans which has leveraged certain vulnerabilities and using defect and AI to impersonate your facial ID information. That's what is happening today. And I'll share the examples. These are some of the uh, uh, or say the um, true copy of chat GPT. So you can see the names Swarm GPT, Fraud GPT, Dark Bar. You already have such kind of generative AI available as a tool to quickly create and say, I want to create a mobile version for ICFC Bank, for ICFC Bank, or bypass this kind of controls. And this will create that zero day malware and resume to you. That's the technology enhancement that forces have on their fingertips. And one of the most famous industry person has already highlighted this also. Even if it's not an IT security, cyber security, a fraud related person. So let's get a bit more deep into how the fraudsters work. How did they do some of the work that they do? So we'll start with the bot, the use of bot in the phishing and online scams. So we have OLX here because I have been in Singapore in APAC with them for a few years. I have some examples from APAC and I assume that this is already happening in India as well. So there's a similar platform in Singapore called Carousel, which is like OLX where people can buy and sell their own stuff. The Telegram bot, this is a year old version. Now I believe it's already an advanced version of this, where the fraudsters can just select the page of the actual sale and put into the bot and select the country. And you can see this copy paste the image. Just by performing these three activities, he will have a phishing page with a unique link for a unique user ready. So if we are here, say 200 plus individuals, within minutes, 200 unique links for all of you can be created by the bot that is running on Telegram. 
is added in that. And once it is created, the next thing is to trick you to share your personal information, like credit card information. And you can see how easy it is to capture all the information for them. Because everything, all the pages are created by the bot. Ask for you to wait because all this information immediately is being used to perform transactions. And if, and these are some other examples of similar type of pages. But fraudsters are not only creating plan A, they also have plan B in case if you did not get enticed enough to share your data with credit card there. In the same bot, they can create net banking page and trick you to share your net banking credentials. Like here, DBS is one of the biggest bank in Singapore and also they are present in India. And the page is already created. Looks exactly like the net banking page of any of your own bank that is there. This is the advancement, this is the automation that the fraudsters have today. So when you wonder why this industry of cyber crime is flourishing, why the Jamtara version 1, series 1, season 1, season 2 is coming, it's all because of this. Everyone is leveraging the technology, including the fraudsters and threat actors. Let me talk about the malware cases. And I'll take this example of the very latest So these are some exclusive malwares that we have tracked over a period of few years focused on APAC. As I shared in the beginning, we have our own data lake and we have more than 20 years worth of data. And this is where we also maintain and manage these different malwares that focus on mobile banking, mobile banking projects. One of that, which you can see the gigabird we found and we have released the report, the report has been very well accepted and read as you can see here from various uh, um, organizations. But what this particular um, uh, malware, the interesting thing was, it was able to trick the user on the Apple devices on iOS to share their facial data which was then recorded as a video and then sent to the fraudster infrastructure and then apply the deepfake and AI to create a two-factor authentication of the live movement of the face and use that as a two-factor authentication to perform transactions or whatever activities that can be possible. Now we all have heard about that there are many things that can be done on Android platform but we found live use cases that we investigated. This happened in Thailand. So we worked with the Thailand National Cyber Security Agency and their equivalent of RBI to detect this with our local banks and identified the entire cyber kill chain method of how the malware was able to trick the app store of Apple to upload such malicious in nature or suspicious in nature application and then be hidden then trick the user to download this particular suspicious application capture their video send it to the uh, malware device or the forester device and use the fake AI to build a new video for the factor authentication. This has been happening for last 3 to 4 months and it's just a matter of time that it will come to India as well. If you want to know more, you want to see more, we have our dedicated booth there, I have dedicated videos of any of these use cases that I can share with any one of you who are interested. Last, the scam calls, all of us are aware, is one of the most difficult uh, part of detection and prevention because it's a social engineering. The weak link are us as a human. And in certain part of time when we get 
into a in a mind where the process calls and we think that the process is right and we get hooked to their story and we share everything that they want to know i know my friends and their parents and their relatives who have lost more than few crores of rupees in this kind of scam calls so we have a solution that can monitor detect and alert to the banks and the relevant department in the banks to uh, detect this and i'll share it more so what we are doing at group ib for this we have a very comprehensive platform that enables you to detect various type of fraudulent activities and there are some very unique capabilities that we provide like device fingerprinting like bot detection malware detection behavior analysis scam call detection and geo profiling which is exclusively used by the law enforcement agencies to track down the scammers and the fraudsters their physical location because we work with interpol europol and various law enforcement in the countries to help them literally go and physically catch the scammers that's what we do as well so our platform enables them to achieve that and you can see some of the examples the heat map of user swipe the behavior analysis of detecting the patterns of human versus the bots the link analysis graph to detect the money mules infrastructure geolocation all these are possible now there is something not new that is happening what is new is that all these use cases are comprehensively available at a single platform enabled by the threat intelligence because we have more than i said half a billion of stolen credentials that helps to detect and create early warning about any fraud and sessions immediately within few seconds so let me go through few of these use cases how we enable the detection like phishing stage when you receive sms with a phishing link with the help of the mobile app of the bank or the telcos we can read the sms with a phishing link and immediately alert to the appropriate authorities in operator telecom operator or the bank about that this link contains sms and you can let the user know don't use this account takeover stage because we have our own database plus our own engines to detect the behavior to detect the bots to detect the malware to detect the sniffers in the initial stage itself we will be able to detect there is an account takeover happening so whether you are from a lending business whether you are from insurance whether you are from any other mbfc or a banking this particular use case helps you to immediately identify a fraudster trying to impersonate and enroll to your products and services and use this as part of your risk category for further investigation scam call detection another i said very complex to detect but using our platform we are able to alert to the fraud and risk team about an active scam call where the user is doing while he is accessing your mobile application in few milliseconds we are able to detect all this information and give it to the fraud team for further investigation and remediation actions and this is an example if you want to see a bit more on the technology side just come to our booth and i will more than happy to share this cloned app detection we have this capability as well and geo profiling and you can see this is one of the authority in the middle east for whom we built this uh, specific video so that we can share it but there are various other law enforcement authorities that we are doing this and literally going to this level of physical location to capture and identify the fraudsters and the link analysis graph will be able to provide further information on that 
So why the platform is good, but what it gives you back, return of investment, right? Is it worth enough to invest? So this is based on factual POCs and deployments. Within three months of the deployment, we were able to give the money return to the banks and the fintech companies within three months. That's the ROI time period that our platform gives to you. Now, of course, different countries will have different, but on an average, this is what it is. Some of the success stories, the central bank of one of the large Middle East countries has deployed our platform to monitor the entire country fraud landscape. And more than 10 banks have deployed our platform to immediately monitor, detect, and stop such kind of fraud from happening, immediately. Same for another central authority like RBI in the uh, central bank in Central Asia, where four plus banks have deployed this platform. And top two banks in Australia, top fintech company in Australia, more than four banks in Malaysia, two banks in Indonesia, large crypto in Europe, e-commerce, lending, digital banks, they have all deployed our platform. So it's, our platform is not something new, it's proven and it's there. And that's what is confirmed by analysts like Gartner. I know I have like last minute left, there are last two slides. You can see Gartner has pointed out Group I being one of the only two companies in the world who have created an advanced intelligence capabilities to detect fraud and share that as a fraud intelligence matrix. This report is available. If anyone is interested in report, please come and contact me. I'll be more than happy to share this data report. Where they talk about a lot of things about cyber fusion, how the cyber security and the fraud teams are working together today. And this is the fraud intelligence matrix that is used by the fraud analyst and the FRMS team as part of their risk management and detection. Another recognition for us from Frost and Sullivan. Another recognition for us for the last year for our fraud platform from the Regulation Asia. So with this, I end my session. Thank you for your patient listening. Any questions, please, as I said, feel free to come to our booth. I'm more than happy to discuss. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Nishant, and I request you to kindly be on the stage. And what a wonderful presentation we had from Nishant, ladies and gentlemen. I would now like to call on stage uh, Mr. Sanjeev Kumar Divedi, President, Investigation and Loss Mitigation from Bajaj Alliance General Insurance Company, to kindly do the honors of felicitating our speaker here. Thank you, Sanjeev Ji, for doing the honors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. Nishant Ranjan from Group IB for that wonderful presentation on AI bots and malware, protecting consumers, banks, and fintech from online fraud and scam calls. Very important these days.